Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker, Dan Hopper Realtors. Well, today I'm out at Kinder Ranch in Prospect Creek section, and we're gonna look at the lot behind me. It's owned by David Weekly, and they plan to put the Rockmore plan on it. This will be lot number 69. Let's go check it out. All right, you can see in front of me the uh, post with the little blue ribbon on it. The front of the lot is gonna go all the way to this other blue ribbon. It's a little narrower up front than it is in the back. But let's go check out and see if we can find where the back of this lot's at. It does slope down a little from the front of the lot to the rear. So if you're looking to build on it, you'll have no steps in the front and maybe a couple in the back. You can see the lot next door is being worked on. You can see how it's much lower up front. You can see a few steps come in the back. But there is going to be a nice little green space. Uh, there's a little water runoff area back behind it. So you are going to have some privacy. And these trees right behind you. So you're going to have nobody behind you that you can see. And a nice little space. You see, it's a, it's a very slight slope from the front to the back. Not dramatic. A little more scenes of the area. I'm going to walk back here, kind of show you what this drainage area looks like. We have had some rain and mist today. So if you're worried about flooding, this isn't a flood area. Uh, we were up quite high. And this is just a community kind of run runoff area. Let's see, that's not really a good spot. So we can get down here a little bit. So this isn't like a real creek. So here in Texas, if you're in a real active creek that comes from like a long ways off, that's when you start having the flood issues. But that's not what this is. This is just a little ditch back behind you so the water can drain out from uh, the area. And you can see kind of where the trees are back that direction. So that's not a concern. That's kind of a little bonus because it keeps a little extra bonus space let's see if I can find where those posts are so we can see where the back of the lot boundary is going to be that is if they even have the post out here I think I see something on a tree there Because it should be right around here. And once you, your house is up, this uh, little barrier here will be down. So essentially, you're going to have all the way back to where this creek's at. Because no one's going to be back there. But it depends on where you have your fence. But I don't see a back post marker. But you can see by this house here, there's not a lot of space right, right behind it. The space here is a little less of a drop off. And it goes back there a little ways. So I'm kind of at where that back line should be, well, the edge of the property but I don't know how far back it goes if it goes past where that tarp is and I think it does and the rock wall plan 
looks like it's just over 3,000 square feet. Can be either three or five bedrooms, three to five full baths, one or two half baths, and I guess up to a four car garage. So I guess this plan gives a lot of flexibility, depends on how much you want to spend on it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little lot tour. Big things is nobody behind you. You will have trees back behind you. You will eventually have neighbors on both sides and across the street. Kinder Ranch is really nice. You are Prospect Creek is literally around the corner from the elementary school. And uh, I guess about a quarter of a mile away is going to be where the high school and junior highs are at. Maybe a little more in a quarter mile, maybe half a mile on the other side of Kinder Ranch. Well, I hope you found this video useful. All right, before we wrap up, I did find the back corner of the lot. Like I said, it is going to go past this blue, this black tarp. So just pretend that doesn't exist. So this is going to be the back part of the lot. Looks like it's going to go kind of right where that tree is at. And then, uh, there's down to the drainage creek. So you will have space back here. Of course, it is sloping a little bit. Not too dramatically, especially if you clean this tree up. Then uh, that one la almost laying down branch. If that's not there, that kind of definitely opens up some of the back space. But yeah, it is sloping from what would be the beginning of the backyard down a little bit, but not too too bad. If I can show you. Let's see if I can get over here by this tree to kind of show you more of what the backyard would look like. There you go. Like I said, it slopes down a little bit into the ravine. This area here can be cleaned up. I don't know if they're going to do that or if they're going to have privacy fences where you don't even see that. And I am kind of parallel with where the backyard would be. So looking straight ahead would be the edge. If they put a fence up, this is going to be it. So not too bad. But well, yes, this tree would be in your backyard, along with that oak tree right there. Let's get a better look at those oak trees. Nice big rock right there. So I'm assuming they're going to bring in some topsoil, and hopefully they, the topsoil they bring in kind of can level off a little bit more. That's a beautiful oak tree right there. So let me get to kind of where the guesstimation where your back of the house would be based on the house next door. So it looks like this would kind of be the back of the house area going to kind of where you can see the leaning over branch. God, I hope this tree is able to stay, be saved, because your house might be real close to this tree. This oak tree definitely will be there. So, trying to just show you what the backyard would look like. So you definitely have some space to entertain. And this would be kind of the where I'm standing in the back edge of the house and a really flat area to build it on or oh, almost flat it looks like there might be like a two or three foot drop so not too bad from the front to the back all right I know you're worried about the backyard but there's the edge 
the uh, you look at look a little bit straight ahead of me you can see the blue ribbon that's gonna be backyard and where I'm standing is where I'm guesstimating is where your property line is at and trying to line up oh I'm squatting down with the where the other edge of the house is so this tree is definitely questionable where whether or not it can be too close to the house but this does give you an idea of the backyard space that's really what I'm trying to do with this video is give you the best idea possible what the backyard space looks like so all the way up and to kind of see where that tree trunk is the base of it that's going to be the edge of your backyard and then that line going from like the blue ribbon that tree trunk and everything I'm walking on right now would be backyard space Definitely got some big rocks out here. I don't know if you intend to put a pool in, but uh, there's that tree I was talking about, the base of it would be kind of one borderline. And then it just kind of curves along to where the creek bank is. So your backyard will essentially go, not creek, the drainage section all the way up there. So looking from where the corner of that house is all of this area here is backyard space and i don't know if that tree that corner tree there is going to make it because it's just so close to where the house would be but all this space here basically from that tree to that tree is going to be backyard not the deepest backyard but Still plenty of space to do some entertaining. Depends on what you're wanting to do. Just confuse a little more. Probably five feet in front of the tree you see right there. About five feet in front of it where your house is going to be. And then all of this to the back tree. I wish I could zoom in on my GoPro. Back tree where that slanted branch is right there. Is backyard so it's gonna be a pretty decent sized backyard just not for maybe playing soccer but for entertaining wise yeah should be plenty of good backyard for that All right, I hope you found this lot tour of lot 69 in Kinder Ranch useful. If you got any more questions, feel free to reach out to me uh, and I will be happy to answer them. I right, talk to you soon. Take care now.